Hey, it's Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe, Photoshop Cafe at Twitter. Hey, I've got something awesome for you this week. I'm going to show you how to take text and wrap it around an object where it hugs every little contour and wrinkle. So this week I'm going to show you how to use displacement maps. And, and this displacement map is really powerful. It enables us to take an object and place it on top of another layer and have it actually wrap around every little nook and cranny and every wrinkle and make it just map onto it as if it was painted or drawn on top of it. That's something that's super requested. So we're going to jump in and do it right now. Don't forget to uh, put your requests underneath in the comments there. And if I use one of your requests, I'll give you a shout out. So let's get started. All right, so here we've got this guy with some duct tape over his mouth. This is a perfect subject for wrapping some text around. So let's turn on the text and we've got a PSA because we just know how much we just love people ranting about their political views on Facebook. So we're creating a PSA, which says, you know what? We don't really care. We don't want to know. So anyway, what we're going to do is make this text wrap around this duct tape. So there's two steps. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make it fit the contours first, just the shape. And then we're going to make it fit these actual contours and little wrinkles and stuff like that in there. So the first thing we want to do is actually just go onto this text layer and we're just going to right click and then we're going to choose to rasterize the type. And we have to do that because for what we're doing next, it won't work with real text. So what we're going to do now is hit control T. That would be command T on Mac. If it brings up free transform, then we're going to go over here, right click. And now we're going to choose the warp option. So now with warp, you get this little box here. There's little nine little squares there. And what we can do is we can actually click and drag within these areas to just shape this to fit the shape of the duct tape. So we've just kind of got a wrapping there and you can grab these corners too if you want to go down like that. Grab those corners and give ourselves a little perspective and you can kind of nudge it. So notice what I'm doing, I'm just kind of clicking and just dragging to make this fit our, our kind of shape a little bit. So that's looking pretty good. All right, I'm just gonna hit the enter key right now and we can see we've got it wrapping. So it kind of fits the shape and this is maybe where a lot of tutorials would leave off. But what we want to do is go in here and make this fit every little wrinkle and every little contour in here. So I think we can have some fun with that. So what I'm going to do now is the first thing I need to do is I need to hide it because we're going to create what's known as the displacement map to do this. So go down to the layer that we're going to be working on, which is our background here, and then go into our channels. If the channels are not available here, just go under Window Channels and you'll find them there. And by the way, I also have written tutorial on this inside Photoshop Cafe. Uh, so check that out on the link. So we're going to actually be hitting these different channels here and see the one that has the most contrast. We're not worried about the face. What we're focusing on here is this duct tape. And I'm looking at the green shows the most detail in the shadows and highlights. Look at that. So we're looking for that detail. The green is looking good. So we're going to use this to make our map. So what I'm going to do now is create a new document out of this channel. And the way to do it is just to right click on the green channel there and choose duplicate channel. Then we get this little dialog box and under destination, rather than just choosing document, because that'll just open a new channel right here, we're going to change it to new. Now this will create a new document and the name of the new document, we'll call it PSC for Photoshop Cafe um, map because it's going to be a displacement map. And now we're going to click OK. Now, when I do that, notice what happened. Here's our document here. And now it created a new document. And notice there's only one channel. And if we go under layers, there's the layer there. And that's because this is a grayscale or monotone uh, channel. So we're, what we're doing is creating a single channel uh, map here. So it's just black and white. If we look under the image, and we look under the image mode, you'll see it's multi-channel. All right, so that was gonna work really good. So what we wanna do though, is we wanna add a little bit more contrast here around this area, because we want this map to be strong. So I'm gonna hit the Control M for mountains, and I'm not <laughs> opening mountains, but what I'm doing is opening curves. So you could go in and you could use curves. One of the things to bear in mind when you're working on here is your curves are gonna be flipped around. So notice your shadows are now on this side, and your highlights are on this side. So you could play around with those, maybe just play around with the shadows a little bit, bring those in. So we're seeing some nice contrast here. And then we're gonna to go to our midtones and we can play around with these midtones till we get a nice 
amount of just kind of what we what we're looking for is we don't want to black out the blacks and we don't want to blow out the whites we want to just make them as dark as we can while maintaining detail and then we're here in the midtones and we can kind of push up the amount of detail here now if you're intimidated by curves i'll show you another way to do it let's just hit control or command l for levels and we can pop up levels so it does the same thing but levels are a little easier to use we're going to grab our shadows here we're going to pull those in a little bit to about there and then grab that mid-tone and just play around until we get a lot of contrast there now the highlights are already bright so i'm not going to pull those in anymore if you've got if these highlights are not white pull this slider over and click ok so what we've done is we've just added contrast so we've got a little bit more definition here in what's going to be our displacement map now one of the next thing you want to do is this is going to have so much detail it's just going to look ridiculous so we want to blur it a little bit so we're going to choose filter blur and you're going to grab a gaussian blur and uh, i've got this set to you know i don't know where we are about 1.4 there let's just play around with this so what we want to do is pull it up to about there so what we're seeing is a little bit of the texture but not too much texture but we definitely want to see these little wraps and wrinkles so depending on the resolution of your image you could be working anywhere from you know two or three right up to about 10 just depends on the image it's very image dependent and so i'm just going to click ok and right now we've got a pretty good map and I'm just going to save it. So I'm just going to choose file save and I'm going to drop it in here. I'm going to call this PSC map, which we already named it when we created it. So we're just simply saving it, make a note of where you saved it and we can close it. We don't need it anymore. So now we've gone back to our main image. So here we are on the layers here and we're going to go into channels and we're going to click on RGB. So now this is going to show all the channels and here we are on our layer and now we're going to show our type so now we're getting ready to wrap this displacement map around here i know there's a lot of steps here and uh, if you want to learn more about photoshop hit the subscribe button because i have some more basic tutorials that explain some of these steps that i'll be throwing at you every week um, so anyway let's move on and now what we're going to do is i'm going to take this and i'm going to wrap this around and make it fit the contours of this duct tape so check this out we're going to go under the filter we're going to go to distort and then we're going to go to displace so when i hit this option what it's going to do is it's going to give us an amount the default amount is 10 by 10 and i've played around with it a little bit and i've found for this image 15 by 15 works really well so what happens is the higher the resolution of the image the higher the settings you want in here so you might go back and experiment if you're working on a lower resolution image because you can see this one's only 31 percent right now so it's, it's really big if you're working on a smaller image maybe five will work so this will vary okay so we're just going to click ok and now what it's doing is it's asking us to choose a displacement map so we're going to grab this psc map this is the one we created earlier on hit open and bam notice how now this wraps around and we've just got that perfect so what we can do make it look a little bit more realistic we can uh, add a little bit of a blur on here if we want. So let's just choose filter blur. I'm just going to give it a little Gaussian blur because I feel like it's just not that much because it looks like a shadow. Just give a little touch of a blur just to kind of soften those edges a little bit. There we go. And then we can drop our opacity down just a little touch. And there we go. We've got our, um, our public surface announcement. But you can also see how we're able to wrap that. This also works with things like fabrics and textures and different things like this. This is a really great technique. Don't forget to check it out on the website there on Photoshop Cafe because I also have this as a written step-by-step -step tutorial. So if you weren't able to keep up with the steps, click the link underneath, go to the website and check that out. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. This is a fun tutorial and I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fun with it. Uh, if you create some cool art with it, don't forget to link it underneath and uh, put it in the comments there. I'd love to check it out. Another thing I'm going to be doing is I'd love you to ask some questions. Uh, next week, I'm going to do an episode where we're going to do a questions and answers. And so what I'm going to do is look at the questions that you guys put in there. You can ask anything you want about Photoshop, photography, graphics. Ask about me, whatever you want. I'll give you a shout out if I use your question. So I'd love to do a Q&A with you all next week. Don't forget, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button right now. Become a subscriber, and then you're going to get new episodes every week so you can really get some great stuff about Photoshop and Lightroom. So until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.